Hey everyone, it's Mari for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating a card for you today using some really fun products from Honey Bee and also some alcohol ink. I'm starting off here with some alcohol ink friendly cardstock and some Ranger alcohol ink colors in a rainbow order. I'm starting off here with some raspberry, then I'm going to add a little bit of sunshine yellow, honeycomb, patina, glacier, and boysenberry. I will list these colors that I used in the description box below, but you can just see that I'm just using a tiny little swipe of each one of these different colors, just putting the tip of the bottle onto the paper and just letting a tiny little bit flow out. And I'm going from sort of like the top right area or at least over to the right of center down towards the center of the paper and then over to the left a little bit and in that way I'm just creating a really pretty background for the background for my project today for my card so I love using my alcohol inks to create backgrounds for card fronts I think they're so much fun to use super super fast this did not take me long at all to do and just I think just one of the most fun ways to add some really pretty colors to your project this is the Ranger blower and I'm also going to use this little bottle here that I have with isopropyl alcohol in it and this is just a, a glue bottle that I had that was empty and I just washed it out and I put some isopropyl in it it's perfect for this process so you can just see I put a tiny little wee dot of the isopropyl and then I take the blower and blow that um, ink out and you can just see that I'm going to do that all the way down this little column of ink that I have created here. So I'm just going to blow that out and just continue that all the way down. This is super, super easy to do and super fast. Now I did speed this up a little bit so that it's not quite as long and tedious for you to watch, but it is a really super simple process, like I said, and just so relaxing and so much fun to do. You could actually also do this with a straw if you don't have the blower, but the blower does make it just a little bit easier, I find, and probably a little bit safer so that you don't have to worry about about breathing in any of the fumes from the alcohol. When I do use alcohol ink and isopropyl in my craft space, I make sure that my door is open to my craft room. I also run a fan in my space as well when I'm working on a project like this, just to make sure that the air is moving around in my space and I don't end up breathing in any strong fumes from these different products. And I think they're totally safe to use if you just follow a few precautions. But look how wispy and fun this color is when it's blowing away from that center. I think this is a really super fun technique and I definitely did not invent this technique. I've seen lots of people use this, this technique before for making projects. It's really super fun to do and I just love it so much. You don't need very many colors either to create this little rainbow and that's something that's also really beneficial. I think this rainbow pattern as well is just super pleasing and really really fun for spring for this time of year. And there you can just see how gorgeous that is and what a fun pattern I've created. Now I'm just going to splatter a little bit of isopropyl over top and that's just going to break up the color a little bit as well. You wouldn't have to do this if you don't like the look of this. You definitely could just leave it the way that it was. And here I also wanted to add some splatters. So I'm using a little bit of Dina Wakely white gloss spray and just a little paintbrush to splatter that on in my splat, splat box and just minimalizing the splatter on my desk here by putting it in this that splat box in that way. And here you can just see I'm going to continue that so that I get just some really nice large and smaller dots of white on that background. And now I'm going to take my Honey Bee Stamps Sweet Stack Rectangle Dies and I'm going to use this size here to cut out my background. Here you can see that that's just going to leave a nice white margin on my card base that I have already cut out. So that's just going to be an A2 size card base. So this size of rectangle that I've chosen here, like I said, is not going to be the full A2 size background. So I'm just kind of lining up where I want to cut this out with my die cutter. And so I'm just going to take my Easy C tape, which is also available in the Honey Bee Shop, and I will link up to this. It's great tape for taping down your dies because it will not rip your paper, which is 
very nice and so you can just see here I'm just taping that down and I've got that all ready to go now I've run that through my die cutting machine and I also took the next size of the rectangles dies and I cut out a black mat with white black cardstock as well and that's going to leave just a really nice white margin around the edge of my card now I'm going to be using the gorgeous dragonfly stamp and coordinating die set from honeybee I love this set so much it's so pretty and I'm going to stamp out my little dragonflies I'm going to use two of the three images from that set to stamp out some dragonflies on some vellum so I'm just going to take the stamps off the backing and get those set up on my mini misty here I'm going to just place these on the vellum and I'm going to be stamping these out and heat embossing them and die cutting them so I'm just kind of trying to place them with that in mind on my vellum here so I'm going to just place a second um, dragonfly there. I'm just making sure I'm going to pick these up and just let them kind of drop so that the, the natural shape of the stamp is retained so that the die actually fits the stamp when I go to die cut it out. And here you can just see that I'm going to use a little bit of the Honey Bee. Actually, first I'm going to use my Rabbit Hole Designs Anti-Static Powder Tool. And then I'm going to use some Honey Bee Embossing Ink to stamp out my little dragonflies here. I'm just going to show you the Be Creative Clear Embossing Ink there. This is a watermark ink that's nice and sticky and it will allow your um, images to pick up the the embossing powder when you sprinkle that over top of the stamped out images here. So I'm going to just get those stamped out with my Misty and then I'll take that paper out of the Misty and now I'll use a little bit of gold embossing powder over top. I'm just using my Nuvo spoon to spoon that out and get that all evenly covered where I have stamped that and just going to spread that around a little bit as well once I get that all onto the paper and I do have a piece of white uh, copy paper on my glass mat as well just to catch any of the um, embossing powder that does end up falling outside of that container there so now you can just see I'm just going to get that all spread around there and make sure I have nice coverage of that embossing ink with that embossing powder I'll just tap it a little bit so that the embossing powder um, excess comes off and now I'm just checking to make sure to make sure that I have everything covered nicely I'll just get that embossing powder tidied up and now I have my heat tool I'm going to just go over the embossing air, embossed area here with my heat tool and melt that embossing powder and it's just going to create the most beautiful shimmery and shiny gold dragonflies here that I can now die cut out and embellish the front of my card with there. So you can see those are all finished. They look so pretty. And I love that there's a coordinating die for these and that is also sold in the Honeybee shop. So make sure you check that out if you're interested. You can just see how nicely those die cut out. They're so pretty and how lovely those are going to look on that alcohol ink. This is the Bitty Buzzword Stamp and Coordinating Die Set. I'm just going to be using the dies today. I'm also going to be using my Biddy Buzz Cutter, which I absolutely love. You can actually pre-order the Biddy Buzz Cutter right now in the Honey Bee Shop. I will be sure to link up to that. Now I'm going to use the Hugs die from the Biddy Buzz Word set to... Um, to embellish or to use as a sentiment for my card today and so I've cut the outline or the background area of the word hugs with vellum and I'm going to cut out the finer more delicate hugs word from black cardstock once again I'm going to be using my bitty buzz cutter here super easy to use this little adorable machine that folds up so nicely and is so compact and I'm going to cut that out a couple of times and adhere the layers together so that it's nice and dimensional and then add that onto the vellum for my sentiment. And now I'm ready to assemble my card. So I'm going to start off here by assembling these different pieces together starting with the black cardstock. And you'll just see me here grabbing some tape runner. I'm just going to add that on quickly with a little bit of tape runner to my A2 size card base. This is a top folding A2 size portrait card base that I'm using here. I'm just going to try to center this by eyeballing it and trying to get that on there as careful as I can. I realize that the... Um, the paper isn't folded completely even so I'll, I'll fix that later but I just flipped the paper over for now and so what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of dimensional adhesive on the back of my project here with these foam dots so I'm just going to add those all over the back here and just trying to add those on evenly as best as I can 
So getting those on there. And when I'm happy with how those look, I am going to take the backer off of those and add that onto the black so that the alcohol ink piece will be popped up with some nice dimension and will just be really nice and dimensional on the card here. So just going to add that on, try, just trying to make sure that I'm getting that on there straight, but you can just see how nice that black makes the, the alcohol ink pop even more off of the card as, as opposed to just having it white on white. So I'm going to add these um, adorable little dragonflies here with a little bit of foam adhesive as well. Um, actually, no, I didn't use foam adhesive for this part. I used glue dots and the reason why is because this is vellum and I did want to make sure that you couldn't see the adhesive through the vellum. So I'm going to actually put about three different layers of glue dot on the bottom here of the, the dragonfly. That's going to make the dragonfly just that little bit dimensional so that it's not right flat to the um, the cardstock and I'm just going to take the the wings and just kind of fold them curl them up a little bit without damaging or bending the paper in any way so I've got my dragonflies adhered I'm going to use those same glue dots to adhere the sentiment down as well and I am just um you know layering up those glue dots like I said so that they are dimensional in that way and I'm going to use my tweezers my honeybee tweezers here to put the word hugs in the center. Now I'm going to use the Back to Basics gems from Honeybee. I love that these gems have three different sizes on the, the, on the um, packaging and so that you can choose different from three different sizes for the different areas that you want to put where you want to put your gems. So I'm just using my um, craft knife here, my pen blade to put down my gems and you can just see I'm using the gold ones. I think they're so super pretty, but I love this basic set. It's really neutral and just would work so well with, with any project. And I could have used a black. Black would have looked really nice as well, but I felt like there was enough black with the matte and the sentiment. I just wanted to add a little more pop of gold since the dragonflies at this point are the only gold that's on the project. And that's going to finish off for my card today. Make sure you check the links in the description box below to all of the different products that I use today. Have an amazing day, friends, and I'll see you soon. Take care and stay well. Bye-bye. <music>